Well, bloody hell, Norwich City have gone all out in the transfer window. Welcome back to another video, everyone. Jack Reeve here, Talk Norwich City. I hope I find you incredibly well, and I'm sure I do. Because Norwich City have completed the signings of Matthias Norman and Ozan Kabak. Yes, we um, have had a really strong final few days of the transfer window. Last night, the announcement of Norman coming in from Rostov on loan with an option to buy the similar, well, exactly the same deal for Ozan Kabak, the centre-back, coming in from Schalke, season-long loan deal with the option to buy at the end. It was clear from the first three performances in the Premier League that Norwich City needed a central defensive midfielder. And I think most people wanted a centre-back as well. I was slightly more um, optional surrounding the centre-back. I I don't mind Hanley and Gibson as a centre-back pairing. Whether that's a Premier League centre-back pairing is probably up for debate. And I think having watched the first three games, that's a fair debate to be having. I think they're both solid people and have done exceptionally well at Norwich City, both individually and as a partnership. There's probably questions to be asked around the, the, their pace and maybe reading of the game. So to bring in the like of o, Ozan Kabak, who's played Premier League and Champions League football as recently as last season for Liverpool, is a real statement of intent. Let's start with Matthias Norman, though, who comes in from FC Rostov, uh, central defensive midfielder, and, and that's the position that I really wanted to fill. Now, Matthias Norman has been the man who's been spoken about for the longest period of time. I must say, I didn't know too much about him. There was a brilliant tactical kind of lowdown on that I read regarding him. Um, and I, it's always an interesting one signing players from Russia, isn't it? Because it isn't the, the most difficult of divisions, but he really seems to have kicked on from there. He had a spell at Brighton in 2017 where he didn't didn't um, play a single minute of football and I think he needed that move to Russia to really kick on and since then has made um, appearances in or got FC Rostov into the Europa League um, has made plenty of appearances for Norway his international team so there's a certain calibre of player about Matthias Norman and Look, we've got some talented midfielders at this football club. I think Billy Gilmore is an exceptional talent. I like the early looks of Pierre Lemelou. I think Kenny McLean is a Premier League midfielder. But none of them are really a central defensive midfielder. And it was clear clear as day on, on Saturday against Leicester that we, we desperately needed a player in that position, both to carry the ball forwards when we pick up the ball from deep and to break up play. And hopefully Matthias Norman is, is that man. So that's a solid bit of business. In terms of Ozan Kabak, this is probably the most impressive signing of the transfer window for Norwich City. A real statement of intent. He was being linked with the likes of Torino. He turned them down. He wanted to play Premier League football. I'm sure there are other Premier League clubs sniffing about Ozan Kabak. Considering he was playing for Liverpool last season, and I know they had a centre-back crisis, and I know that there will be Liverpool fans that maybe don't rate him as highly as others, you have to understand, if, if you're a Liverpool fan, you're comparing Kabak to Virgil van Dijk. We're comparing Kabak to Christoph Zimmermann. No disrespect to Christoph Zimmermann, but that's a slightly different... Um, equation is it and, and I think that Kabak comes with something to prove he wants to play regularly in the Premier League arguably he'll want to progress his career in the Premier League so if he can keep Norwich City in this division this season we then have to buy him we buy him for a considerable amount of money I think it was 12 million pounds being spoken about and then he can really kick on whether that be with Norwich City or elsewhere the good thing about these two signings is one if we do go down we don't have to sign them permanently and they won't want to play in the championship so that cuts your cloth accordingly with financial you know restrictions you don't want to be going down to the championship with big earners and I'm sure Kabak and Norman respectively will be on significant money in terms of Norwich City's outgoings but they also have something to prove these are players who will want permanent residency in the Premier League um, and I suspect will be playing the majority of minutes for Norris City. So it's really impressive. And we, we we spoke, didn't we, about Weber saying that he sent Farker to war without a gun last time we were in the Premier League. Farker has everything he needs now. 
I think if you would have offered him the transfer window that we've had at the start of the transfer window, he would, he would have absolutely snapped your hands off. We've basically got two players in every position. I think the, the, the signings of kind of Brandon Williams at left back when we had a decent le left back shows a statement of intent. Brandon Williams, classy player. To bring in Kabak is, is a real good bit of business for me because we had Hanley and Gibson... We had Big Andy, but Kabak's that step up. So to add him to the to the roster, if we're going all Josh Sargent American on you, is I think a, a cracking bit of business. And, and it's going to be a fascinating season now because this has been the best, oh, certainly the most considerable transfer window of, of my lifetime. And I've been, you know, watching Norwich City for 16 years. And I suspect it will be the biggest transfer window for people who've been watching Norris City for 60 years. It's uh, it, it feels as if the club's taken a step up and they needed to if we want to compete in this division. And these two signings certainly go even further to, to, to proving that. Let me know your thoughts on Kabak and Norman. I'm sure we'll be doing a deeper dive on both of these players in the podcast coming up this week. But an exciting time for Norwich City. It hasn't been the, the strongest of starts in the in the in the in the league, um, but hopefully these two players will go some way to contributing to more positive results. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.